another talking to the camera type video. Um, I just uploaded the, I guess if you're seeing this, it's, uh, was uploaded already. Um, my explanation for why I'm kind of taking a break from Twitch and pushing my way forward through YouTube content instead. Um, so expect more videos like this, just one-on-one -on -one conversations with whoever's watching on the other end. Uh, hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, yeah, so today we're going to talk about, um, someone stole my car. So as if, um, shit couldn't get any more whack, somebody has it out for me, because they're a cheeky cunt. I don't know who or why someone thought it'd be a great idea to steal my, actually, old car, because they're a moron. Um, for context, I know a lot of people, and I piss a lot of people off, to be fair. I'm not a super fantastically nice guy. I like making fun of people and fucking around. So I'm sure over the time of the years, I might have irked somebody pretty bad. Well, someone stole my fucking car last night. But there's a catch-22 to this. It wasn't my car. So my grandpa's got a hard-on boner fetish for uh, Ford Crown Victorias. If you don't know what that is, I don't know how to edit anything. So go ahead and Google that while you're watching this. But they're these giant four-door boat cars with big V8s, and that's just all they do. And they last forever. We've had this black one. It's a 1999. Right? We've had it since probably 2001. It had over 200,000 miles on it. The odometer quit working on it. So it was probably almost 300,000 miles. And um, because nobody knows where I live, I'll go ahead and say this. Uh, my grandparents tend to leave the keys in their vehicle. All right, camera focus. Thanks. Uh, they leave the keys in their vehicle vehicles and they took mine which i think they thought was mine but two days ago your boy decided since my grandparents just bought another crown vic because crown vic fetish never fades um i would switch vehicles and i switched to a newer one that had like 70 or has 70 000 miles on it so last night i'm assuming somebody saw the black car sitting in the parking lot expecting me to be there because it was a thursday night and I'm sure somebody was like, hey, fuck this guy. I'm going to steal his car. And they took the car at like three in the morning to go for a joyride. And I maybe thought, you know, oh, fuck, someone's trying to prank me. Well, they totaled the car out last night as well. They crashed the shit out of it. And they fucked it up pretty good. But I'm sitting here like, I woke up this morning to rigorous amounts of phone calls. I tried streaming today and I got freaking bombarded by phone calls. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, am I dying? Am I dead? And now I look into it and someone stole my, uh, my old car that I've haven't had for two days. So I'm the luckiest man around. Uh, yeah, someone tried to steal my car, but it didn't work. Good try to whoever tried to fuck me over. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Good try though. Um, that was just gonna be a warm up topic, I guess. Uh, just gonna go over topics for today or not topics, but just random shit. I don't know. We're moving apartments here pretty soon, which is pretty rad. So, I mean, um, you're seeing this after I had that really, really hard video to make, where I was just talking about my Twitch to YouTube to, you know, content creation. So if you're seeing this, you're obviously, I'm in a better mood. I'm still not fantastic, but hey, who gives a shit? Anyways, we're here to talk about the follow-up video to that. Um, as far as that goes, yeah, this is me slowly pushing YouTube again. Uh, there are still streams that are going to be going on. I have one scheduled for tomorrow actually sunday if you're watching this this will be uploaded tomorrow as well on the sunday april or fucking april fuck man i'm dickered up in the brain right now i can't fucking remember anything uh september 13th yeah this will be up that day as a follow-up video to me posting um content on youtube as far as uh september 12th goes this is when it uploaded so yeah um as far as how i feel about it I'm not really 100% sure yet. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I can't imagine I'm going to make the greatest YouTube videos without any editing skills. Maybe I should learn how to edit, huh? Um, but as far as, like, a schedule for uploads, eh, when I upload them, I'll probably make one or two, three videos a week. Just kind of talking about what's happening in the world right now. Uh, I guess we could talk about the Netflix situation as well while we're here. Um, yeah, um, that movie Cuties fuck netflix for making that now i understand they didn't make that that's fine 
And there's a lot of good shows on Netflix, and Netflix makes themselves. But let's talk about the director and the writer of that show can literally go burn in a hole somewhere. I hope they see this, because fuck them for making a video that's over probably an hour. I'm not going to watch it because I don't have the uh, the heart to do that to myself, for one. And for two fuck pedophiles, that's weird. That is like, you are pushing pedophilia. They're like, yeah, it's okay to be a pedophile. Watch this movie. I understand it's supposed to be from the perspective of somebody looking in. Like, that's bad. Don't do that. But like, why? You should have just made a documentary around the parents then, not around the kids. I understand it's hard to say. Like, these kids are, you know, getting manipulated by their parents. If you can't show them doing what they're doing. But you got to be like censor that shit or something like give them an idea of what it is, but do not do what they did and the fucking way they promoted it and how it was like girls battling in twerk battles at the ages of like eight to nine or whatever it is. I don't know because I didn't look into it because it's fucking weird. That makes me very uncomfortable with Netflix and I don't know if I will carry on my Netflix subscription with them, which everyone's like, don't be a fucking gaping asshole, which I probably will. I just think Netflix might need to take, I don't know, a step back from their uh, their uh, sales tactics because I'm sure Netflix is going to be the new pedophile hangout as if Discord wasn't that already. Oh, Discord. Yeah, I, it's disappointing to say the least. Um, extremely disappointing for that matter. I just can't wrap my head around the fact that they did that. Which, whatever, uh, if anybody's watching this and watches it, please feel free to unsubscribe because you are a fucking scumbag. There is no, for me personally, there is no, I just wanted to see what it was all about. I only watched the first 15 minutes. I skimmed through it. Why did you even give them a chance to earn revenue on it? I don't want to hear anybody talking about it. Funny memes about it, sure. Oh, well, what are you going to do? They're memes. But like people watching it for fun? How is that fun? That's fucked. Because it's just, it's the same thing as like, who knows if this is true, but like Ryan's toy reviews, you know, that kid is being forced to play with toys, but I'm sure that is not going to like fall over well with him later on in life. Maybe it will because he's a multimillionaire already at the age of freaking like whatever he is. I have no idea, but I find that weird. It's the same thing with like, shout out to the phase guys, but those guys pushing content for kids, I find that extremely strange. Um, why are you, I understand that's like the market or that is where view sit is on kids, kids watching your channel. You want to have as many just mindless kids clicking your, your videos over and over and over again and getting views on views on views. I just find that extremely weird. Like for a good example, face rug, I will say somebody that does that, that caters to kids, but they do weird ass shit. That's not like, it's like sexualized as well. And I just find that very uncomfortable. Like the fuck is wrong with you? If if you do like uh, filling my pool with a million fucking, I don't know, what are those things like uh, ball pit balls? I don't give a shit. Whatever you do that, that's fine. But like when those guys were doing all the weird like kissing my stepsister challenge, like no, nah, you're fucking scumbag because you know kids are clicking on that because they're like, oh, this is weird. Especially kids from like age eight to ten, like this is weird. You know, we were all eight to ten at one point too, and we understand. What's going through our fucking brains? To be fair, yeah, if I was a kid that age, probably would do the same thing. But it's like, the person making that content is like, fuck, probably 22, 23 now. And what the fuck? Like, you have, Phase Rug's one of the richest of them all. To be fair, that's because of his fucking kid-catered content, which is fucking scumbag beyond. I, I respect the guys that are left that don't make content anymore. But, you know, they're still there and they talk and they, you know, they're part of the team like Banks and those guys. I'm going off on a tangent about FaZe now. That'll be a separate topic at some point talking about the the FaZe guys. But, um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about kid catering content and apparently pedophilia-based content because, yeah, cuties. (sighs) Fucking Netflix. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, other than that, I don't really know what else to talk about. I mean, Trump and Biden? <laughs> this is the political channel. Fuck out of here. Now we're going to talk about any politics, but... I Oh, we could talk about Odell Beckham Jr. getting his chest shit on, huh? You know, you like a little poop play, do you, Odell? A little poopy play on your chest, eh? A little poopy play, eh? God, what a f- weird dude. 
God, dude. Ugh, Selena Powell. If you don't know who that is, do yourself a favor and go to that dumb bitch's Twitter because it is a shit show of a place to go. I want to cover your eyes, though, because there's some fucking gross shit on there. Uh, ugh. Ugh, I'm thinking about it. Ugh. Yeah, I, she's like a fucking wannabe porn star. And I don't, I don't want to go into it, but she has a show on No Jumper. So if you're bored sometime, you want to watch some shit content, go ahead and click through that. That is something you can skim through, and I won't give you shit for it. But uh, speaking of shit, Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, this is going to be your video for tonight or uh, as a follow-up to um, content-based stuff. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, plan on within the next year. Yeah, I would say that's probably the best way to phrase that. I'm going to do an automotive-based mini-documentary movie. I don't know. Uh, I have a truck that I'm building right now. and. Personally, my um, my content, I would like to do more automotive forward stuff on YouTube as well as gaming, which is going to be hard because I know people don't like those two don't fall into the same category, but I'm going to try to do both in one. So expect a video of uh, me just kind of showing off what I built. It's been years uh, and that'll be all in the, the mini documentary or movie or whatever it's going to be probably an hour long at most or, or less it could be 45 minutes. I have no idea, but. Yeah, just expect a video on that at some point in the next year as far as content goes. Yeah, and just a lot of gameplay crap. Like, um, I need to finish the Krieg DLC. I started it today, but my car or my old car being stolen and people were calling me freaking out that thought I was dead that I crashed my car. So, yeah, that was what happened today. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll probably upload again on Monday, maybe. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Well, yeah, I guess if you want to consider the... Uh, DLC getting uploaded to YouTube, then yeah, that'll be Monday's upload. I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see what news goes on. Uh, if I see car news, we can talk car news as well. Um, if you're not fucking sub to me, fucking subscribe. It's not very hard. And if you don't ever like me anymore, go ahead and feel free to click unsubscribe. It's that easy. Uh, drop a like if you'd like to as well. Have a fucking great day. Uh, Twitch link in the bio. I'm going to put the Discord. We got a Discord link too. So. I'll put that in the bio at some point if you want to join a Discord that I have. It's, I'm in, so pretty cool. Peace and love, everybody. Have a great um, Sunday tomorrow. See you in the stream maybe later, everybody.